How to extract a vector logo from a website's source code. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. And in today's video, I want to talk about how you grab uh, vector logo files from a company's website. So for me, usually this takes place whenever somebody else is working on some work that uh, needs to have this logo on it. They don't have that logo, so they send me uh, a low raster um, file that needs to have it vectorized, and then I'll vectorize that and, and I'll send it back to them. But one trick that sometimes works, not always, is if you go to a website, you can grab a vector SVG file from the source code, and I'm gonna show you how that works. So this is one I was working on the other day where somebody needed this particular logo and I came here to the website and if you just right click on where the logo is and click inspect, this will bring up your source code. Um, and in this particular instance, it grabbed this path, which was just a, a portion of this uh, SVG file. So what you're wanting to look for, if, if this is what it looks like, a whole bunch of numbers, paths, um, then you want to look for where it says SVG. So the start is right here under SVG. You want to click on that. You'll right click it and say edit as HTML. So then inside of here in this box that's created, you just click anywhere in the middle and then hit control A to select everything, control C to copy it. Then you can come in here into notepad, paste that. Now you've got all that SVG data that was in here. Then you wanna save this as um, Sierra, logo.svg. Just make sure at the end you put .svg. Now if I go to my desktop here, you'll see that there's the SVG file right there. If I double click that, it should open up. There it is. Now it's not colored in correctly. It's all black. You could go in later and change the color, but this is vector. You can bring this into Illustrator and, and, you, and blow it up to any size that you want. So that's just a really, really helpful tip that I find that I use quite frequently, and I wanted to show you guys uh, what normally happens. So this isn't always gonna be the case. You're not always gonna get an SVG file here. Um, a lot of times when you do, so here's another logo I ended up vectorizing for another client. Um, right here is, it says image source, and then it's a .png. So that means that's going to be just a raster file. And if you right click on this and say open and new, you'll see that it's a really small PNG. This would not work well for print. This would not uh, scale well, but I ended up vectorizing that anyway. I may have used this image, I can't remember, where I looked for a better one online. But anyway, that's just a, a quick, easy tip to grab these logos. They've even got a couple more over here if you look. Um, there's another SVG over here for Home Goods and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So a lot of, a lot of websites are using these SVG files because they're small. Um, and they can scale to any size so they, they never have to worry about clarity of the logo. So anyway, that's the tutorial, guys. Let me know what you think about that. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.